Hey, what's up, friends? Jur is located at the bar near Dead Orbit, and let's see what he brings this time, shall we? So, at first glance, I see helmets galore, and let's start off with the Titan. The Titan is getting the insurmountable skull for it, and I have one idea on how I would use this helmet, and that would be only with a Sunbreaker subclass for the Titan, because the fact that you gain a second melee charge is the only reason why I would use it. For the melting point perk that you can uh, equip in your subclass, that we can have two of them, that we can just take down bosses a lot quicker. Other than that, I think the roll on on, on the helmet itself is pretty poor, and I I, I, I don't really care about this stuff right here. I mean, anything is fine, but if we're doing with melee stuff, usually strength is where you should go. So that's just my thought. And that's all I would say. PVE. This is the only use for this helmet, in my opinion. PvP, I there's no point, in my opinion. There's better and highly more valuable options for you to choose. The Hunter is getting the Acleophage Symbiote. My thought is, I wish it was Year 1's helmet. I say that because in Year 2, they obviously have increased, uh, no, sorry, decreased the time you are allowed to have Golden Gun active. So having four shots with less time makes this helmet very challenging to use. There are times in my personal experience where I've not been able to get all four shots off and I wish I would just had more time. So that's my thought on this. The roll on it is perfectly fine. Perfectly A-OK -okay for a kind of PvE standpoint. PvP could be better. Intellect discipline sounds great. So other than that, it's okay. It's good in both. For PvP, I would say this is honestly more f meant for PvP. PvE-wise, I would not use this helmet. I'd rather use the Celestial Nighthawk. If I was trying for go if I was going for boss damage, and if I I guess single targets, single targets okay. But other than that, I mean, it's up to you. <laughs> the Warlock is getting the Heart of the Praxic Fire. This is my go-to of the three exotics. And this is the reason why I love this chest armor so much. Decrease all the ability cooldowns while Radiance is active. Greatly increase agility. That's just an added bonus, the last sentence. The fact that you can spam like two more grenades and get an extra melee full recharge makes this chest piece very... I'm much so in, in love with the heart. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, the roll is great. Increased sniper am rifle ammo. Increased armor. And it's discipline, so you can spam your grenades even faster, in theory. So, you know, it's just, just my, this is just the perfect roll. So, if you were to get one, get this one. That is all. It is meant for also PvE and PvP. More in PvP standpoint, but still good no matter what. Highly recommend this one. Helmet, we're getting the exotic Engram for the helmet. No weapon this week, getting a helmet. Simple and legacy Ingram is also a helmet. Make sure you get, if you're ready to get one of these, make sure you actually get the right one. They're right next to each other, and it's probably really easy to mess yourself up. Be careful. And that wraps up this video for sure. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, until next time, see you guys.